tav and now tells me that I got enough scrap and enough wood. But before that, before every single like cell is cleaned, um, the buildings still think there is not enough wood or enough scrap. Like they do not update um, as in Kronos. I don't know how I should say it, you know. Like, this building just waited for that tree to be cut down to know, oh, well, I got enough uh, scrap and wood in my settlement. We should we should tackle that for sure. Uh, so let's see. What I'm trying here as well this time is to leave always some space in between the buildings. Like, I know we adjusted the, the pathfinding, but it seems like it's actually naturally to to uh, work like that the more space or um, like streets in between your building the easier it gets for all your settlers to know where they actually have to go or where the optimal path is it's actually something that's like logically logically without explaining it uh, but it makes a difference here so uh, I'm just going to pause the game and read the chat is the new better version for testing yeah it's th th exactly like this. It's the it's the new the new like say it's it's not actually final. It's our internal build, so some things might differ from your version. Um, yeah, but I'm not spoiling or, or showing anything that shouldn't be shown. It's just like to test for me and to present for you. And I'm going to move my camera just a bit down and hope I don't get. Cut up upstairs and just hold on for a second. I need to adjust my webcam settings, it seems. Like I feel I'm a bit too too bright. Just a second. Um why isn't it letting me adjust in this? Okay, so turn the brightness down here. Done. Um Well, I fucked that up, <laughs> but here I am again. Uh, so, back to Anselm. Yep, they love streets and removing trees and scrap, but only as long as you want them to build something. When you're finally at the point where you want them to build streets, they do anything but build streets. Yeah, <laughs> They're focusing on quite some random stuff still, it feels like at least. But um, we made some progress there, so it's not like completely random or feels like completely undirected it's just uh, still something they want to prioritize internally it's a settler bug fix already well I stated that uh, yesterday in the discord and I am not sure like honestly I am not sure if it has been fixed but as far as I know um, we had some dis discussions earlier this week uh, from the feedback from the weekend and we all knew about this bug um, I'm not sure actually what has been said. I think I remember some developers said to me like, yeah, uh, this has been overhauled and it should be done, should be fixed. Um, but honestly, I don't, I don't remember. We, we will see, like we're testing right now. We will see if this, if this bug occurs still, it ob obviously hasn't been fixed yet. <laughs> and if it doesn't occur, we're all good. But we will figure out. I can tell for sure. Coffee, minute coffee, yeah. Go there faster on the way. Oh, what a shock. Um, I talked so much just now that I actually don't know what I said that that could be the answer to. So I'm sorry if I'm if I'm misreading that for a second, but uh, just let me focus a bit right now. I'm like so distracted by anything. Let's see, I'm actually not worried, uh, too much worried about what they're doing right now, what they're prioritizing on. Since uh, we are covered with enough resources for now, at least. Um, so I'm just going to see what they're up to. And I'm probably already 
Uh, let's check the radiation. That's fine. I'm probably already going to plant some streets um, going up here since this is where we are going to be later on. And the sooner I am tackling these streets, the better I'm getting uh, in the late game. I cannot assign with right click the maximum since I'm missing settlers. Just a second. Oh, this is interesting. I thought like every free settler will be assigned with right click, but it's just if your free settler amount mag uh not maxes like mirrors the amount of water carries that you can assign. Like if I have nine free settlers and I'm clicking right click to set maximum, it doesn't react, but if I had ten it would. Good to know. Um, so my scrapyard is collecting already, and the rest of you is going to build. Okay, maybe I should... Wait a second. Oh yeah, it, it should be prioritized. I got forest there already. Good, good, good. Hmm, I got a call and had to mute the stream. Did Kai answer my question? Um... Just give me a second. What was the question? Like, uh, if the if the if the saddle bug has been like fixed already, is that what you were trying to ask? What is missing? No builders available. Well, that's true. Um, I feel like this is already not working out too good with my food resources, so let's see if a fisher might change that. I usually don't like building the fisher hut and well, it would fit here. Like personally, I feel this building is too big. <laughs> Uh, to be placed in some lakes like this is already a pretty big lake and I missed the opportunity to place it somewhere efficient So I usually don't like to build it at all But that's just me That's just me Yeah, but the settler bug has fixed on this build already. Um, okay. I said like I remember I stated this on the discord and I remember that one developer uh, came back to me earlier this week about the settler bug since we are all aware of it and said like something uh, should be done already or has been fixed or I'm doing this this week and like anything like that. I really honestly do not remember uh, what was the correct wording, what did he say to me. So we are going to see if it has been fixed since I really really don't know. Um, if it still occurs in our run here obviously hasn't been fixed yet um yeah but this is we know on our internal plan we know this is mandatory and we are working on this like i can promise you that this is like uh, the game breaker number one right now and we are definitely not willing to let that just stay in the game and uh, all our players get confused about what is happening have a regular run without like throwing errors and just suddenly your sellers do not work anymore. Uh, yeah, we we cannot do this and we are aware of that. So even if it not if it's not fixed already, I'm confident about that it's fixed in the next patch. Uh, won't promise it though, like always, since anything can change. So I really need this depository to be built since they're still running to the mounted bus to get their resources stored. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I sure guess new base. I'm just curious. Yeah, no, like no offense. I'm uh this is totally understandable since it is really a game breaker and it's frustrating. So it's just natural to 
like want to know more about this or want to uh, want this to get fixed so really no problem but all i can say is like i think we are fixing it or it has been fixed since i don't know more i uh, don't know more and uh, i'm actually sorry for that but that's just the state how it is right now okay i'm really curious about what are my builders doing so are there still resources missing yeah they are Oh, so missing on wood. I should have checked that. Guys, no. Come on. Okay, now they're going to build it. Good, since uh, this is this is really important right now. My salvages are so inefficient because they are transporting all their goods back to the mounted bus here. Um, let's store, like, pretty much anything. Yeah. Okay, so the radiation is moving away, which is good for me. By the way, you can add toilet paper as the most important resource in the game. <laughs> if they actually manage to produce some toilet paper, well, we might find one or two rolls over here in the, in the ruins left behind. But if this is a scenario that happens quite after Corona, um, I'm not too sure about if there's anything left. So, yeah, this is something. So we got this issue. I'm, well, I'm not calling it an issue, but it's something that I, that's, that happens to me the first time that I feel like this. So anyone in the community, like maybe two or three people already mentioned that it would be cool to have some like exclusive water storage, like really storage, not just the, the cistern or the tower where your settlers um, gather their water from and stuff. But like really a depository where you can store some water. And right now I got already two systems. I got no possibility to like upgrade them already besides, let me check that. Uh, yeah, the resources are like, well, I could get them, but it's quite expensive for the start. And I have like two systems already filled up. Uh, so the next, thing to do would be build another cistern, but I don't feel like this is the right thing to do. You know? Yeah, but I'm just going for it. What's the difference? The difference between what? Between a cistern and a pure water storage? What would an extra water storage do? Well, logically, it would act like... Well, let me pause for a second. Um, if you look at the depository as building as such, it's just um, it's just a moved like location for your resources to be stored at. Like the mounted bus works, but it has its own capacity and stuff. And it's like all stationary here. And the same goes for the cistern, so I could move like a cistern like way back over here and tell the move area to be like the board work and it would like collect and transfer goods and stuff. Um, but that's not the intention of the building and it would, wouldn't probably work like it's meant to work. And another like solely water depository would act like the depository, so I could like, let's say... Um, where is the stuff? Like, like, imagine this is the water depository. I could place it over here, okay? And now I would have, like, my logisticians to move water from the cistern back over here. So my settlers firstly have fewer or a, a less longer way, a shorter way from their buildings to get the water because they always have to go to the cistern and the water tower, which is usually in the 
proximity of a lake and stuff, so your settlement is always clustered in the first runs around here. Um, and secondly, it would just be more space. So to have more space right now, you need to build a cistern uh, or upgrade to a tower, which is quite expensive in a way and needs a water carrier assigned to function. Um, yeah, it stores water, but just a certain amount. And it's the market is another huge building, you know? Like, I would prefer a building just in between these two, which is uh, also like provided with the job of the logistician because it would make sense for me. And it's just uh, like the system can take up to 2000 water and the water tower to 5000. And imagine having a building that you can place anywhere and assign one logistician to it. And it would just gather water from all the resources from all the gathered places around like just regularly because it's a job and store it more centrally or restore it to the market if necessary. Um, that would change quite a lot, I would think, and make it easier to stockpile early on. Since right now I feel like I have like great weather and like a good position for my settlement and stuff and I'm already building my third cistern. It, it feels weird. Like, it doesn't feel like this should be the way to do it. Personally, I think like that. But it's just me. Oh, let me get to this for a second. So, and now my salvagers are actually choosing good paths to get resources as well. Let me just move the, the work area for a bit. The move, the work area. Maybe just change the amount of water marketplace can serve some extra build special workers is needed. Well, yeah, but it would still be necessary to build the market then. Uh, which, the, this is what I mean. The market is more a late game building for one reason that you need like a lot of like resources you do not have early on usually. And for the second part, it's just big and needs a, a profession assigned that is really just necessary for transferring goods from one place to another which is cool but same as for the builder the builder would just not build a house he would also clear the work area like this little icon here and he would build roads and stuff and to have a building that needs this profession but acts like just transforming water from one place to another and make it more centralized is just more efficient. In fact, it's not that many resources needed for the marketplace, it's just all of them are needed. Yeah, that's uh, that's a point as well, yeah. But you still would need like a logistician that takes resources from anywhere all the time and store it there. So not having to, not being able to focus on something or just to clearly say like one logistician is just uh, responsible for water and stuff. Without that, it's uh, it's not working like that. We, like to make it more easy and understandable, I would never, never, ever just place a market to have like more efficient water coverage um, without these functions having or being like prominent and really, really understandable. Like without that being possible, like to assign let's it's just one logistician to just do exactly this task. I would I would never go for market just for this. And and that's the issue I, I'm, I'm I'm having. Like it's not an issue at all. Like it works like that, and it's okay. But I feel it could be it it could be a building that uh, enhances your settlement. But again, that's just me. So now it's time for hmm, the recycler. Yeah, I would just place them around here. I will I will probably not need them anyway. Just after a short time.
So this is another thing. 